Uh, here's the famous uh, Reginald Dixon vast organ that was built in around 1935, making it nearly 50 years old this Easter. It was built and designed by Reginald Dixon, the great organ man in Blackpool in the 1930s, when having a very big organ was a very popular thing indeed to have. So we've decided now we're going to look at Blackpool, not at just organs, but at Blackpool. And there's a nice Polaroid photograph. You'll see also up here uh, is a mirror which Reginald used to look in and he'd look behind him and he'd see that he had this behind him. You'll notice it'd be a bit of a, he'd be, feel a bit gutted over the whole thing because nobody had come to, <laughs> nobody had come to see him. He was very good, Reginald, though. So this is, as I say, his organ. This is some, here's, are you ready for some of its features, Paula? Yeah, yeah. No, that's my one. Okay, you can now press this one. Now, one of its features is... The phone. No. It's the phone. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's birds. Birdie, phone. This is... This Pennsylvania is 65000, they would have gone. Horses' hooves, going very fast. The sea. Another bird. And that's a fire gong. And you can have anything... For any Which is very useful in the middle the, of a song. Play really. the piano simultaneous, or you can alternatively have the jazziest organ in town. Well, that's the jazziest piano in town. Oh, we'll press this one. <laughs> Reginald often had this problem, and that's probably why, <laughs> why it had an empty house. There we are, the jazziest organ in town.